Greetings, Scorpio, and welcome to Ingrid's Insights. I hope you're all doing wonderfully well. And let's see what it is that we have for uh, the Scorpios today. And thank you so much uh, for joining me and for subscribing to my channel and to my new viewers. Thank you so much for being here. And let's see what we need to know today for my Scorpio. Well, there's some energy and force you need to be aware of that's going on. Look at this horsepower. This is your instinctual energy you need to harness right now. The number 24 uh, could be a sacred number or very important for you. But force lives in your will and comes from your intent. Life is a process of pulling back your bow, aiming your arrow, and choosing a target and shooting. Uh, the degree and the quality of the force with which you choose your target and shoot determine your power and success. Empower your will and your strength of force by manifesting your secret dreams. So what is it, the secret dreams that you're moving toward with such force? The secret dream has something to do with your feeling of individuality. Do you feel like you're just part of the collective, part of the boardroom? Or do you feel like that you stand out, um, excuse me, Scorpio, Aquarius could be involved in this reading. The number 31, you might know someone or be 31. But when the shield carrier reaches the top of the mountain, she never seeks approval because approval is based on doubt. Your strength and wisdom are celebrated in your unique ability to view the experience of life with new vision. To be in your power, you must take your power and exist within your own individuality. And so that's what's coming right now, individuality, finding that within the daily grind, but you're moving toward this with force, and that's in energetic. Let's see <clears throat> what we have today with the tarot cards. And thank you, spirits, uh, for seeing um, this reading through with Scorpio, bringing Scorpio only precise, resonating, and accurate information, and so it is. And uh, Scorpio, I invite you to bring your own question, concern, and curiosity to this reading and see what it is. Wow. Well, we first start off with the Nine of Wands, and this card wants to fly out too. Well, we start with the Queen of Wands. You're on your throne, man or woman. Genders are fluid, but you're tapping into that psychic ability. You're tapping into your um, sensuality, your self-confidence to go after passionately whatever you want. And you've got that sunflower, which is your optimism and your ability to succeed, even if you don't know what you're going after, what you're going toward. But the queen is here as you. The way you see the question is very fiery. It could involve an Aries, a Sagittarius, a Leo. But it's saying a uh, passion is here. And you're going to um, <clears throat> be challenged by this sense of the Ten of Swords. Everything's um, really fine. Uh, but you're having to face something's coming to an end mentally. Um, you could have been dealing with very negative and critical thoughts because this um, a queen of wands can be very charismatic and passionate, but she can also be very ambitious and uh, kind of go just for what she wants with a lot of force, as we saw, and horsepower um, toward your individuality to be uh, stand out, to take uh, firmly the actions you want. And the Queen of Wands is very individual. And the Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. At the very foundations, something's moving. A new opportunity, good luck, a change is on the wind. And it's coming because you're taking a new opportunity out there. You want to explore something. You want to travel. And you traveled recently. You want to see something differently. And you see you want to move from the page to the queen. There's a 
progression from taking this adventure, learning, uh, getting excited about something, and then sitting on your throne and confidently going toward it and going toward your happiness, your bliss, your confidence, uh, a happy family, uh, out of this <clears throat> sense of some uh, a difficulty, hitting rock bottom, betrayal, heartbreak, some defeat, some despair. Uh, you are coming out with the rainbow to receive these 10 cups of happiness. You could have happy children, happy grandchildren, happy home, happy grounds around you, friendships, just the whole package of a joy, of contentment, of bliss in the human form while we're here on a planet Earth. This is a happy, happy card. And it's coming because you're seeing something uh, with the vision of the high priestess. You're getting the information um, of this sacred knowledge that's helping you use your opportunities to move forward, see things from a different perspective, uh, to see uh, that even though you have all this force and energy and passion and confidence, uh, something had to uh, come to an end, some betrayal, some rock bottom situation. And now you're right now, you're having to look at things from a spiritual perspective. Uh, maybe you're doing things alone, in secret, a plan, uh, something that's <clears throat> going to change things. And you're going to use your higher power, maybe an intuitive idea. Uh, because you've got the Queen of Wands and the High Priestess, they're very connected in terms of uh, psychic abilities and intuition. And at the foundation, there has been some fighting. Well, maybe you use too much force. Maybe you use too much um, in individuality to assert your own will, your willpower, your force to get what you want, to go after something charismatically, passionately, take leadership. And it could be that you um, <clears throat> have won, but at what cost? Have you hurt other people, Scorpio? Have you let other people down? Have you let your um, <clears throat> sense that you, of your ambition <clears throat> to get your happiness at all cost? Maybe have uh, hurt people, um, victimized people. This could be a card of narcissism, of I'm so passionate, I want, I'm so beautiful, I'm so sexy, I want to go after what I want, and I'm going to get it. But it could come at a very difficult cost mentally in terms of the actions you take, because the Eight of Swords, well, in your environment, people are feeling that you're interfering with them, that you're entrapping them. You see, this is maybe a leading to a feeling of isolation, entrapment in your environment. The people around you feel bound, uh, that um, <clears throat> they are going over and over the same thoughts about something here and they don't feel like everything's fine at the moment and they feel entrapped blindfolded imprisoned uh, somebody you know might be in prison um, in a mental prison <coughs> of their own mind and it could be a lot of shallow energetic energy with others fighting battling a feeling um closed off from others feeling like you can't make any change or movement but this is here at the foundation saying you're ready to make this change take this new opportunity see things more from a higher perspective because the hope and fear is uh it's going to happen fast you're going after this whatever this a passion project you're going for it really quickly and with a lot of confidence it's happening fast, some communication, and it's going to lead to the king of wands. Wow, well, you've got the power couple, the king and queen of wands, uh, and the page. So there is a lot of fire here. Um, passion, forceful energy. And you're going to go toward whatever this is successfully. You've got this... Um, the Eight of Wands, that's the green light. Go for it. Whatever this plan you have that you think is going to bring you bliss, happiness, a happy home, um, you fought for it. And it's 
coming quickly. This leadership, you're taking leadership on this new idea. And let's see, wow, this is kind of interesting. Let's see where it's all going. Um, thank you, Spirit Guides, for um, bringing us just the right cards to clarify why uh, the Page of Wands is here twice, both in the recent past and is clarifying the Queen of Wands. You want to take something out there, travel, a new adventure. You know you have the confidence and the charisma uh, and the energy to do it. And the King of Pentacles is here because of everything's fine. Well, yeah, when we had the King of Pentacles around, everything is fine. A lot of wealth, abundance, problem solving. So you're using your adventuresome nature. You're a feeling of, I want to take this passion out there and get out of my comfort zone. And you have the resources to do that. And you have the good luck on your side because of justice is coming. It's true and right and balanced that you move forward and something changes. And the ch uh, your luck changes. Something is coming out because you, this is a card of imprisonment, isolation, feeling like people are infringing or interfering with your way of doing something in the environment. And justice is coming. And <clears throat> the devil was here with this page of wands about um, some in, something is toxic. Something is too focused on the material world in the recent past, on some kind of a feeling of seduction. This new adventure, this new idea, this new passion, this new energy, you're very seductive um, with that. <clears throat> and you have that with the Queen of Wands. So there's something about an addiction uh, in the recent past. Um, or some body that you were dealing with had an addiction and you wanted to maybe move away from that, get out of that situation, uh, explore that. Um, but the King of, of Cups is here with the Ten of Cups. Well, the King of Cups is um, in this, is behind this, in this celebration. Uh, these deep emotional uh, stability ability to uh, have a lot of feelings even after the storm to receive this gift of happiness and joy and you have it because you have those that deep capacity to listen and understand and you're fighting because of the seven of swords with the five of swords um, and then we have the seven so it could be something about this fighting this mental conflict uh, could be that you're trying to lie, steal, and cheat uh, someone uh, with this <clears throat> seductive energy, with this feeling like you've got this um, something you want to instigate, something you want to take out there, adventuresome. And you've got the Ten of Swords. Wow. So you're going from the Eight to the Ten in your environment, which is saying you've got two Ten of Swords. So um, Scorpio... There's something mentally that has been uh, bothering you, that's been hurting you mentally. Uh, you're going over and over thinking about something very negative, something that betrayed you, something that cut to every chakra of your system, and you're just feeling like you're, uh, <clears throat> you hit rock bottom with this. What is this that you are hitting rock bottom with? Um, is <clears throat> the... Um, high priestess maybe the high priestess that um, <clears throat> ability to have that deep psychic awareness is bringing up <clears throat> these thoughts about the past that have to come to an end there's nowhere else to go you can't uh, work through this everything is fine yes but it's only fine when you use your higher vision your higher awareness that inner knowing to let this go you're at the end of your thinking you can't think through this you're uh there's nowhere else to go but up and this is the time when we need to uh, talk to the high priestess to turn our energies for that help and that advice because um something about the way you're thinking about this is about 
a lot of fighting, a lot of cruelty, a lot of lying and cheating and stealing, even if you think it's, uh, you did it because it was your strategy and you used those kind of hurtful tactics, but it led to putting other people in prison, locking other people away, having people mentally um, having these emotional traumas. You could have narcissistically been abusing someone, Scorpio, and it caused them to feel entrapped. Or somebody could entrap, um, the environment itself is entrapping you, is limiting you. But you're going to um, <clears throat> see this clearly with the seven of wands, where you're going to have to stand up to your beliefs. Somebody's standing up to the competition. Uh, some you're standing um, your ground um, about this mental conflict, this self-sabotaging energy that's coming out of your environment. But you're having to stand your ground and believe in yourself and let go of this. Let whoever this is to let them see that it's not that difficult. The waters are not that deep. This could be like um, making things worse than they are in your own mind. Um, and that could be why you have to defend yourself so much and keep on, uh, keep on going. Uh, because there is, uh, you go from the uh, seven to the eight with temperance. Something needs to come in quickly, a communication about uh, healing a communication about a forgiveness and understanding and a taking, uh, you see she has one toe in the water of the unconscious and one on the earth. So she's able to go within with the help of the high priestess and take that deep inner sacred knowledge, but also to blend and balance aspects of yourself that you like and you don't like and to uh, move quickly toward this successfully. And it's going to lead to uh, the King of Wands. Well, you've got the Magician. You're going to make magic um, out of this passion. You're going to bring all of the forces together within you uh, to create something. And you've got this uh, Lemon Skate, which is the mathematical uh, symbol of infinity. And it's saying you've got infinite power if you reach out uh, to your High Priestess. You need to reach out to those higher guidance systems. And that will lead you to manifestation, to bringing something magical down with a lot of passion and an entrepreneurial idea, Scorpio, you're taking out there. And you're going to make it happen. It's going to be very abundant and bring you a lot of success and happiness. And that's what I have for my uh, beautiful Scorpio today. And if you like this reading, please subscribe and tell me how. And give me the thumbs up. And I'd love to hear about that. And you know I love you, Scorpio. And we're in this interconnected field of learning and growing. And so it is. And see you next time. Bye-bye.